coming up on Up All Night with Audrey Lynn. We'll party with the stars at the Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival starring George Hamilton. Exclusive interviews with movie star Daniel Baldwin and actress and model Alana Stewart. Plus, we'll chat with Vanilla Ice at Winterfest in Wellington. Now, on Up All Night. I'm Audrey Lynn at the Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival here at the beautiful Cinema Paradiso, where the guest of honor tonight is George Hamilton. We'll soon be going inside the cinema where George will be talking about his loves and his most memorable movies. Movies like Love at First Bite and Where the Boys Are, the movie about spring break in Fort Lauderdale. Hi, we're here with Maria Kilman and Tommy O'Brien, two festival hey, goers. They're also actors and actresses. Apparently, you're well known. Somebody just called out to you. Yeah, right? that's awesome. I've actually <laughs> seen you in a number of things that you've acted in. You're yes. very good. What movies have you been in, Tommy? Uh, we uh, premiered our movie last night called Slap Happia, which was a uh, sold out show last night and everything. It was awesome. Uh, matter of fact, we both were in a film called The Wife Exchange, which premiered here about a month ago. Um, and I just signed my contract for my 41st film. Wow. Sorry, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And what movies have you done? Well, we are actually work together in Life Exchange. I'm doing right now a couple of web series. One is coming up. It's called For the Love of Suits. It's all about gods and goddesses and mythology, so it's going to be great. And I am actually the lead in an upcoming movie by um, Tony Larkin, Jerome Larkin. And he directed Life Exchange. Mm -hmm. So, oh, wow. I'm looking forward. We start filming in January. Are you excited to meet yeah. George Hamilton here oh, tonight? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. He's a big fan of his. Yeah. Definitely, definitely what, what, yeah. what was the favorite movie of his? Well, I was, if I could just on a sidetrack there, you mentioned yeah. George, of course. I met a famous George just a couple weeks ago here. Of course, that was George Costanza. Oh. So, so I figured, you know, what the heck. You know? Otherwise known as Jason Alexander. Jason, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. From TV's uh, Seinfeld. Exactly. And yeah. did you meet him? Oh, no, I was not here. I didn't need that. He was awesome. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to meeting George because I actually was a fan of the movie on Broadway. Yeah. And I remember him in Dancing with the Stars. Oh, of course. Oh, that's you know, right. I couldn't forget that. They say he, he got a lot of votes, even though he might not have been the best dancer. Mm -hmm. He was actually pretty darn good. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much sure. to local South Florida actors. Did you did you know that George is actually from South Florida? I didn't know originally. I heard. I know he lived here at some point. He I went to high original. school. Okay. I didn't even cool. know that in Palm Beach that. County. Okay. I didn't know local that until I read that. <laughs> George Hamilton is at home on the big screen and on the stage, as his brother David Hamilton tells us. But the one thing about George is the Admiral Bullies never seems to be defeated. And uh, he's turned this, what seems to be a, a amount of talent for career. This is a, a very esteemed, esteemed audience. I see some of my friends, <laughs> my brother, who, but you can already know our relationship from the night. My ex-wife is here. I noticed she did not. This is more like a deposition. Than... <laughs> After sharing playful stories about picking up a shy Marilyn Monroe and traveling with the beautiful Elizabeth Taylor, George greeted his fans waiting just outside of the cinema. I posed with the tanned one before catching up with his ex. Hi, we're in the green room at the Cinema Paradiso as part of the Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival. I'm sitting here today, I'm so excited with Alana Stewart. Hello. 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 How are you? Nice to see you. So nice to meet you. Everybody used to watch Alana on George and Alana. It used to be, I would say, one of the first reality shows you were on. Well, it was a talk show, actually, sort of like Regis and Kathy mm -hmm. Lee were following in their, in their footsteps. It just didn't stay on the air that long, unfortunately. But it got personal. But it was a fun show. It was a lot of fun, and I, I really actually miss it. I wish we could do another one. Everybody knows that um, you used to be married to George Hamilton. That's right. And also Rod Stewart. Right? That's right, too. <laughs> okay, how do the two men compare as husbands, if I'm allowed to ask you that? Well, they're very, very different. I met George when I was very young, and I have to say, uh, he was a little bit of uh, Professor Higgins to my Eliza Doolittle. <laughs> I was a little gal from Nacogdoches, Texas, and I had just started modeling in New York And when I met George, and I 
became, you know, uh, and I was introduced to the whole Hollywood scene and everything. You were a um, model, becoming I was an a model, actress. Yes, and uh, with George, I moved out to California and, and got to know people there, and so my life changed drastically, you know, from the kind of life I'd had in Texas. And George and I were together 10 years, and we had a son named Ashley, and um, who we still have. And, <laughs> um, and then when we divorced, after two years, I, I met Rod Stewart, and then we got married, and I had two other children, Sean and Kimberly. How do they compare as husbands? Well, they're just very different, you know. I mean, George is actually much more serious and down to earth, even though people may not realize it. And I have to say, George, I always feel like George is kind of my soulmate. You know, I met him when I was very young. Um, I, we've always loved each other. We've always had a deep caring and a deep friendship and everything. And even though we're not married anymore, that friendship and that caring has always continued. He's so. still your family. He's still my family. That's exactly what I tell people. George is really my family. You had fun teasing him about his uh, luggage. His, what was it, 35 pieces of luggage on a recent trip? Uh, trip George's recalling. luggage and, and his tan are, are, the, are the two points that I always make the most fun of him on. I introduced him last night at, um, at, the, at the film festival. He, they awarded him the Lifetime Achievement Award at the um, Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival, and they asked me to introduce him, so it was, it was kind of fun. Did he ever pick on you about not having a dark enough tan when you two were together, or perhaps even today? No, you know, but when we were doing our talk show, as you know from shows, you know, they'd try to light us, yeah. and to light us, for him, because he was so dark, yeah. I looked like Casper the Ghost. Yeah. I mean, I was like just completely washed out. It was so funny. So we argued all the time about the lighting. <laughs> yeah, I'm so pale. I was like posing uh, with George for some photos earlier, and I thought, well, how is this going to work? I'm going to really, like you said, Casper, I'm going to look yeah. ridiculously yeah. Well, everybody <laughs> looks like Casper next to George. George has the tan in the wintertime. You live in Beverly Hills now? I live in, yes, I live in Los Angeles in Beverly Los Hills. Hills. What are you doing currently? Are you uh, acting and modeling? And well, I'm still doing some acting and working right now on a on a reality show, waiting to hear if it's going to be picked up or not. So, cool. um, so that's really exciting. And I also am the president and CEO of the Farrah Fawcett Foundation, which, as you know, Farrah was uh, a very very close friend of mine, and I was with her during the whole time that she was battling cancer yeah. and she started a foundation and we fund cutting-edge research and we promote awareness and prevention and we're doing a very big research project with Stand Up to Cancer and so it's kind of gotten uh, it's, it's become a very important part of my life now. Is there a website or? Yes absolutely it's the Farrah Fawcett Foundation dot org. Farrah and Fawcett foundation.org and okay. there's the Farrah Fawcett Foundation on Facebook please go to our Facebook page and like us and you probably accept donations absolutely and we um, and if you go to the website there's a lot of interesting we try to keep the ups the website very updated and there's mm -hmm. there's a lot of information on the website that people would find very interesting also some beautiful photos of Farrah and and, and a lot of uh, a lot of information about the things that we're doing. I loved Farrah Fawcett. I just thought she was fabulous. She was amazing. She was such a, she had such a life force, you know, and it was so shocking yeah. to think that someone with her vitality and someone who was just as alive and as powerful as she was could get cancer so quickly. And know? she was brave enough to do, I remember the, uh, the video. Um, the documentary, Farrah's documentary. story. Yeah, mm -hmm. she, well, she started, we started documenting and she handed me her little handheld camera and said, will you take this, will you film this doctor's meeting? And I didn't know how to film anything and with a camera and I could barely turn it on. And we started filming everything, all the procedures and the doctor's meetings and everything in Germany. And then we started learning so much about cancer and, and different cutting edge treatments and some of the things they, they aren't doing yet in... She was trying some experimental treatments. Yes, there's a lot of things they were doing yeah. in Germany and in Europe that they weren't yet doing in the United States. And so we went there and we spent many weeks at a time there and, and we just kept filming, but it was all for her purposes. It was never meant to be a documentary. And 
then networks started to hear about it and, and they started to call her and she really gave it serious thought. She thought, you know, I might really be able to help and inspire people who are struggling with this disease to keep fighting and don't give up. And it was just the two of us, you know, and, and uh, I was filming and there were no, you know, lights, there were no directors. Yeah. There was just the two of us and I think it, because of that it was very intimate and very real and we were very proud of the finished product. Uh, I mean, I was as surprised as anybody. I was surprised I could hold a camera steady but we were nominated for an Emmy, yeah, um, which was really exciting. It was probably the best documentary I've ever seen on television. Oh my God, thank you. Seriously. Thank you. And I've seen a lot of them, at, especially at film festivals. Has it been shown in any film festivals? Well, no, because it was uh, it was shown on NBC. It wasn't a, a, a movie, you know, it was a, a special done, a documentary done for NBC. And, but we were nominated for an, an Emmy, so that was kind of our equivalent of getting to, to film festivals. How is it that you are here at the Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival? Well, I was invited to come down by New You Magazine. They had done an article on me and the, and the foundation, the publisher, Ken Mears, was being honored last night at this event, also the same event that George got the Lifetime Achievement Award for. And so the magazine, New You, invited me to come down as their guest. And then the film festival heard I was coming, so they asked me to give the award to George. Um, it's a great magazine, and the great thing about it is, I think it's been out two years, and it's a magazine, it's a lifestyle magazine for women, but it's, it's completely focused on health and beauty and anti-aging which we all like. Yeah, yeah, we're both 22. Yes. I'm going to tell them what I told you. Um, I was in the lobby waiting to go in to watch uh, George Hamilton and the video and his brother David uh, with all the festival goers, and I saw Alana come out of the restroom. I said, that's Alana Stewart. And then we're like, but no, she's like 29, 32. How could that be? God, and it's made you by night. And, and, and he's like, you're wrong, it's not her. And I'm like, yeah, it can be. I mean, she's just ridiculously young. So whatever you're doing, keep it up. I had an 85-year-old woman inside. <laughs> Do you have any secrets to share? <laughs> we'll take them. <laughs> you know what I think? We have to turn the camera off for that? Or? <laughs> no, we don't. You know what I think the secret to staying, I won't say young, because I don't think in, in years I'm young, but... I think it's two things. I think you shouldn't think of yourself as an age. Deepak Chopra told me years ago, um, when I was in my 40s, he said, Alana, he said, don't think of yourself as having a number attached to you. He said, think of yourself as being ageless, and you will be. And he said, I never think of my age. He said, it, I, it doesn't even occur to me. And so I started doing that. I just, I'll celebrate my birthday, but I don't celebrate an age, and I don't have this belief that when you're 50, you this happens to you, and, yeah. or when you're 60, this happens to you. It's a mindset. I d really believe that it, a lot of it is in your mind. I think it's in your mind and in your heart. Yes. And I think people who, not to say that I'm this kind of person, but I try to be a kind person and a giving person, and I think people who try to give something back to the world and have an excitement about life. I think they stay younger. They tend to stay younger. I agree. Okay, we got to get Alana on the talk show because clearly <laughs> she's got a lot to say. It's Thank you, you and me. so much. You're, you're, you're awesome. Awesome. Alana Stewart Thank you. here at the Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival. Thank you so much. Thank you. From the Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival, I'm Audrey Lynn. We're off to the rap party the very next night to interview actor Daniel Baldwin, who got engaged right here at Fliff. Hi, I'm Audrey Lynn. We're at the rap party at the Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> Hi, I'm Audrey Lynn. I'm at the Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival rap party here at the beautiful Atlantic Hotel in Fort Lauderdale with movie star Daniel Baldwin. Thank you so much. Oh, it's so great to meet you. We're so proud to have you here at the Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival, to have your film being shown here. Why don't you tell the folks what your movie's about? 
<clears throat> my movie is called The Wisdom to Know the Difference. It's a, a film about a man who kidnapped heroin addicts and took them to a mountain retreat where they woke up after being drugged and uh, he had helped them for 30 days kick heroin. Bob, if something goes wrong, if you get caught, don't call me this time. You understand? I can't live my life like this anymore. The addiction, the crimes, the arrests, the trial. 25 years of visiting you in that godforsaken place. You would risk everything that you have in your life that's worth living for, including our relationship for some convict. Wow. Now, what, what encouraged you to do such a film? I, I, I actually knew the guy that did it. This is loosely based on uh, the life of a friend of mine, um, and uh, he wants to remain anonymous, and so I'm going to do that for him. Um, do you feel that making this film featuring uh, his, his life story is helping him in his real life? No, he passed away in 2006, oh, so he's okay. gone. Uh, but um, uh, no, it's more about um, the idea of the power of being able to make a film that actually saves human beings' lives. So. You know, I mean, there's been lots of other accolades affiliated with myself and my family, Oscar nominations, and wins over the course of, you know, some of the different things in the films. More on the 4th of July, Billy, Stephen, and I were all in, and that got, I think, 13 nominations. Those were all great things to be able to say about your career. But the fact that you can say that you're in a film that saves human beings' lives, um, you know, that's something that I'm really proud of. So. When he was alive, did you get the idea that he might want to... Uh, share his story with the world, or was that after he uh, passed away? It was more the concept. It was okay. so much about him. Okay. It was the concept of what he did to kidnap someone uh, under duress with the permission of the family mm -hmm. and then not know it. I mean, okay. There's actually a moment in the film where the girl that I kidnapped is a Latina woman who's in her 20s, and she wakes up and she said, This is kidnapping. And I, I hesitate, and then I go, You know, actually, I think you're right. It probably would be considered kidnapping. Like, what are you going to do about it? Already up there, so. Now clearly this is the rap party, so people who haven't seen the film yet, where can they find it? Can they find it? We're, we're involved in, uh, we have multiple offers distribution-wise right now, so uh, we're kind of taking it slow. You know, we've done well, we've, we've been in five film festivals and we've garnered awards for Best Picture in all five, so. Um, and what's next for you? Well, my character recurs on Hawaii Five-0, so he's back. Uh, and, um, yeah. I'm, and I'm writing a, a murder <laughs> mystery right now that I'll probably go into production sometime in the late spring um, uh, about a, uh, a detective in Malibu, California. All right. Well, thank you so much, Daniel Baldwin. God bless you. Thank you for having God me. God bless on. you. Thanks. Keep up the great work. Hi, we're taking a break from the rap party here at the Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival to talk with two award winners, Ryan and Whitney Barrel. after college and when life sort of stops becoming about learning and starts becoming about doing it's, it's always nice to come sort of back to this festival because it is it, not only is it home but it's 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 a festival that gave me a lot of support early on and now I, I really do a lot to try to give back to them I shoot their commercials um, you know I volunteer when I can for the people that are watching I'm sorry you're not here how can they watch that happy well um, we're gonna do the film festival circuit for a while um, this is the second screening of it now um, it's gonna be around and you really can't put it up on the internet yet um, until once it sort of makes that circuit but after it does that you know if you search for slap happy uh, there aren't there aren't a lot of films called slap happy uh, um, you'll find it but it's gonna be about a year or so before it's up all right thank you so much Brian and Whitney having a great time here at the Rub Party the Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival to go into the wrap party here at the Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival. I'm with Heidi Dennis, the general manager of the beautiful Atlantic Hotel and Spa here in Fort Lauderdale, right on the ocean. Hi. Hi there. Welcome to our hotel. We're so thrilled to have you. Thank
thank you so much. Why did you want this hotel to be involved in the lift? Well, I tell you, you know, I met Greg, who's obviously the one who's put this whole thing together. Yes. And I'm a big fan of the arts and the, the films that have been presented and everything is so wonderful. We wanted to be a part of that. And our hotel, uh, we are an independent boutique hotel, which goes right along with all the films that are being presented. And Daniel Baldwin, of course, oh. is the uh, guest of honor Fabulous. tonight. And he has been so wonderful. I have to tell you, my entire team, he has been right there in the throes of all of my employees. They love him to death. Are you saying he's staying here at the hotel? I did not say that. Uh -huh. I did not say that. <laughs> I just said that he has been very hospitable. And what was that room that? number again? I did not say that. Oh, okay. So <laughs> Daniel's enjoying staying here at the hotel. He has been visiting the hotel. Visiting the hotel. Correct. And your staff has been helping him out with what? Uh, just whatever he Dish. Wants. <laughs> Whatever he wants, that's what we're going to do. The right food, and does he want special M&Ms or anything like that? I'm not at liberty like to just say. Just the same ones? Or... Not at liberty to oh, say. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah. Well, I haven't gone outside yet to the big party. I can't wait to go through those doors to the wrap party. What will I find when I get out You're there? You're going to find a vibe, energy, fun, and everybody just having a wonderful time. We're We've got cocktails floor. and food here on the fifth floor. Is that We've got the cocktails and food? It is not the top floor. Oh. We have... 16 floors to our hotel. 16 yes. floors. Yeah. And what is so special about the fifth floor here at the Atlantic? The fifth floor is where we have our spa, our fitness center, we have our pool deck, we have our restaurant that's just fun and the vibe is fabulous. Ah, uh, should have brought my suit. Let's go party. Let's go have some fun. Let me see you guys. There's a bar. Absolutely. Let's party. Martini. <laughs> There's a great ravioli bar. Chefs are creating made-to-order ravioli with chicken, shrimp, cheese, and more. Yum! The wrap party at the Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival has wrapped up. But the party's just starting at Winterfest in Wellington. Come on! Hi, I'm Audrey Lim here at the Palm Beach International Equestrian Center for Winterfest in Wellington with Ice Ice Baby! Vanilla Ice! <laughs> nice, to <see> <laughs> nice to see you. What brings you out to Winterfest today? Uh, I started the Winterfest five years ago and uh, haven't stopped ever since. It's a great event. I live here in Wellington. It's a, uh, a really nice community and I uh, love to give back. And it's all about family and friends. And we got lots of family and friends out here and lots of smiles. And, and it's the holidays, you know? Smiles, yes. smiles are contagious. So. It's a good time for everybody. It's a great public service. There's also the uh, charity challenge that's going on. Tens of thousands of dollars are being given out tonight to many different charitable organizations around Palm Beach County. Alzheimer's Community Care. All right, Alzheimer's Community Care. I saw you out there earlier tonight uh, giving out money, calling out names. Well, we have over $6 million this year from the Equestrian uh, uh, Champion Supports, and uh, they are just amazing. So they're giving out for each event, and a lot of people are actually donating their time, and, uh, and, and the horses even, which are, you know, very expensive and stuff. So they're helping out for this cause. Um, there's lots of charities involved, and that's what it's all about, you know. Palm Beach Zoo, Toys for Tots, everybody's out here. That's right, little smiles, and, you know, uh, the list goes on and on, and, and it's an honor for me to help out and uh, be a part of the community and also raise money for the charities. And, and we all have great causes, but there's also great needs. And uh, it's, it's, it's the uh, season, it's the holiday season, so you know it's great to see people come together and, and, and care. And you have a television show on the Do It Yourself Network. Tell us yep. about that. Uh, the Vanilla Ice Project, so on season five. And uh, I have another show called Vanilla Ice Goes Amish, where I live with the Amish with no cell phone, no electricity. 
for three and a half months and build homes with them. Oh, wow. But uh, it's an amazing adventure. Check it out. Uh, Does the Amish know vanilla ice? They do now. <laughs> <laughs> what do I call you? Do I call you vanilla or do I call you ice? <laughs> well, I, I respond either way. My real name is Rob, but it's I guess it's not as cool as vanilla ice. So. <laughs> I have to tell you, I just covered the Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival. I yep. interviewed Daniel Baldwin and George yep. Hamilton, a lot of spirit, a lot of stars. And I actually sang Ice Ice Baby with a bunch of ice in my hand. Hey. I, and it's, I didn't even know I'd be meeting you just a few days later. And here we are. What is that? You had the ice and you summoned the rap gods and here we are. That's what it is. <laughs> well, thank you. Is there anything else you wanted to add about um, this great event or what you're up to, like with your music? Sure. Um, yeah, check out the movie That's My Boy with Adam Sandler. Uh, I'm also doing a, another movie with him uh, soon. and. and uh, we just get in where we fit in. We enjoy everything, and uh, you know it's great to be here and for the holidays and, and doing such a great event for such a great cause. Time to have some fun on the Midway, where rows and rows of vendors are selling their wares, including Western wear. I'm getting my cowgirl on. Yeehaw! Seems everyone's getting into the holiday spirit. There's even a petting zoo. Maybe they'll let me ride a horse before I leave the equestrian center. Giddy up, horsey! Giddy up! Whew, I'm exhausted from all that fun here at the Palm Beach International Equestrian Center. We had a great time with Vanilla Ice and all of the great folks here in Wellington at Winterfest. Thanks to the celebrities on tonight's show, including Daniel Baldwin, Alana Stewart, George Hamilton, and David Hamilton. Special thanks to all of our local actors and to the staff and volunteers at the Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival, the Cinema Paradiso, and the Atlantic Resort and Spa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Vanilla Ice. I'm Audrey Lynn. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time on Up All Night.